Hey there, dear YouTube audience, and welcome to a new Legends of Runeterra video on my channel. I'm, of course, the one that loves you all there the most. It's a love giant. Today, I told you we're going to be recording a bit more or uploading a bit more and streaming a bit more, obviously. Today, we are playing one of my absolute favorite decks of all time, and that is Talia Zix, which is pretty obvious because I have two different versions of the deck. And today, we are playing the version... Ironically, we're, I'm gonna tell you right now, we're gonna play the the version with Safety Inspector and you're never gonna see Safety Inspector. <laughs> because apparently for this current meta that we are in, which is pretty much everything goes, he's a little bit too slow. Um, I checked the Mastering Runeterra meta stats at the moment and currently as of recording this and as of playing it, this was the third most played deck in the entire game and also the third mo most successful one. So, and that is always a good uh, thing to see. So, um, Taria Zix, Safety Inspector, well, count that out because, you know, again, you're gonna, you're gonna see Safety Inspector. What is Talia Zix all about? Obviously, it's about landmarks that we can duplicate with uh, Talia, and then when we blow them up, we get damage from Zix. So, let me show you how that actually works. Talia is a 5 mana, which I obviously have the, the skin for because I love her that much. She comes in at 4 mana as a 3, 5, and when she... When you play her, you summon a, an exact copy of another landmark. Once you've summoned five or more landmarks, she levels up and becomes the following. Still, when you play her, you're summoning a, a landmark of your choosing. And attack is, I deal two damage to my blocker three times. If it's dead or gone, I deal two damage to the enemy nexus instead. Meaning, if she gets blocked by a four health unit, it, get, it's, it gets pinged twice for two damage, and then the third ping basically just goes straight to the Nexus, which is pretty goddamn good. Her champion spell is all right. Manifest a landmark you can afford. Basically, you spend your entire mana, if I recall correctly. I'm not entirely sure, though. Comes in at burst speed, and then, uh, yeah, Threat of Volley is basically the ping. Deal two to Talia's blocker. If it's dead or gone, deal two to the enemy Nexus instead. Landmark number one. Number two is Zix, who is way too big for his stat, for, for his cost. Three mana, three, four. And if he attacks, I deal one damage to my blocker and the enemy Nexus. And when he's leveled up, which you can, which is accomplished after you have destroyed four or more allied landmarks this game, he becomes a five, four, five with the attack addition that he deals two damage to the blocker and the enemy Nexus. When you destroy an allied landmark, deal two to the enemy nexus every single time. So what landmarks are we running? We are running Explosive Minefield because we play also the Safety Inspector. We get to that. Actually, let me sh let me show you this guy because you're never going to see him. We have him as a two of five mana, five, five. And at round start, you create Inspection Past in Hand, which is a slow speed zero mana. Destroy an allied landmark to deal three to anything. Basically, a... Uh, right of the arcane, but on steroids because we generate that for zero mana every single time. Uh, also, right of the arcane is slow. Yes, exactly. Um, we have the explosive minefield, which is awesome with the safety inspector because it comes in at one mana, and when it's summoned or when you destroy it, that's the thing, you stun the strongest enemy, which is pretty goddamn good. We have the inventive chemist as a three off because it's awesome. It's Basically, if you run landmarks, you want to run this because early game is a little bit rough, given that you have a 3 and a 5 mana hero. Um, when, you, when, you, when you summon him, you summon a Scrappy Bomb. He comes in as a 2-1-1 uh, cost, and the Scrappy Bomb is countdown after 3 rounds. When you Or when you destroy it, you deal 1 to the enemy Nexus, which is pretty good. You have Drop the Bomb, which is an awesome, awesome spell. Deal 2 to a unit and summon a Scrappy Bomb. So not only do you, do you remove something, but you also get progression towards your landmark uh, conditions. You have Pokey Stick, a 2 of deal 1 to anything, and then you draw 1. Perseverium, which we always draw in the first hand for some reason, but it's actually pretty good. 2 mana, when you summon it, you draw 1, and after 2 rounds, you also draw an additional 1. Pretty goddamn good. We have a 3 of Rock Hopper, also early, uh, per perfect for the early game, makes the curve of the enemy a little bit awkward, comes in as a 3-1, and when you summon, summon him, her, it, you get a Roiling Sands, which is this one, when an enemy is summoned, destroy me to grant it vulnerable. Which can make the enemy curve extremely, extremely weird. Because they don't want their hero to get vulnerable. So they have to play something else. And then the tempo is kind of screwed up. So pretty goddamn good. We have a one-off of the Absolver. Give an ally plus two, plus one this round. If you have leveled a champion this game, 
you create this one in addition, which is also another two mana burst speed. Give an ally Overwhelm and an additional plus two plus one, which is pretty good basically for Talia because, um, yeah, they can just... They can just block her and then you deal like two damage to the enemy nexus when they block with a four health one. But this one, you just put Absolver, Absolver Return and then the four damage or with Absolver, Absolver Return, eight damage and potentially like... A two pings or four pings or six pings even from the volley actually goes through as well so um at four pings we are basically looking at 12 damage to the nexus which is pretty goddamn good um we have the endless devout also a perfect addition for any landmark deck three three comes in at three mana last breath you summon a sarcophagus which is this landmark has a countdown three and when the countdown three is gone or when you destroy it again safety inspector you get a restored devout which is a five three fearsome which is pretty good, obviously. We have the Rite of the Arcane, which is a good, a good addition, even if you have um, the good old um, Safety Inspector, because this one is 3 mana. You can play it for spell mana, obviously. Destroy an allied landmark or one of your mana gems to deal 4 to a unit. So one more than expectation passed. Pretty good removal. We have the Rock Bear Shepherd, which is actually the one you see the most in the game and the one that deals the most work, because this guy is just fucking amazing. Comes in at 3 mana, 1-3. When you summon an ally, actually when you summon him, you get a hibernating rock bear, which is countdown 3, and you summon a grumpy rock, rock bear, which is a 5-5, five, five, if I remember correctly. Um, and, okay, when you summon an ally, here it is, when he's on the board, advance your highest countdown landmark one round. Basically every time this guy's on the board, and then you play something, and the hibernating rock bear is on two, two ticks, and that is actually the highest cost... Um, landmark that you have or the highest countdown amount you play something and it gets immediately discounted to one so you get hibernating rock bear or any other landmark that you have out one turn or two turns potentially earlier which is really really good and you're gonna see a lot of this and it's awesome we have a two of of unraveled earth you summon two roiling sands and you draw one comes in at three mana burst speeds you know roiling sands grant, grant, grant uh, vulnerable to the next enemy that is summoned we have Zix, we all, know that. We, we all know about that. Desert Naturalist is pretty goddamn good. When you play here, you destroy a landmark, and if it's allied, uh, you summon a Grumpy Rock Bear, which, yeah, is a 5-5, so always it ties in with the Hibernating Rock Bear. However, the Hibernating Rock Bear that we get right here, this one has to count down. You can't destroy it. If you destroy it, it's gone. But we can destroy basically an explosive minefield to stun an enemy, and then also get the Rock Bear. We can blow up, which is obviously... Also awesome, uh, blow up the sarcophagus, so we have a 5-3 restored devout and also the 5-5 hibernating rock bear. Next up we have a right of negation, kill an ally or destroy one of your mana gems to stop an all enemy allied uh, fast, slow, speed, skills, spells or skills, that's the thing. So basically just a deny. Uh, then we have herald of the magus, which I'm kind of inclined to throw out because I don't really like it that much. When you even though it's pretty good for a closer, uh, when he's summoned, and when we destroyed four or more allied landmarks this game, we grant all champions everywhere, plus two, plus two, and overwhelm, which can obviously help out close games. And that is pretty much the entire deck, yeah. So, as you can see, lots of landmark interactions, obviously, lots of two, lots of three-offs. Um, there are multiple versions of playing landmarks, which is also pretty good, like with Talia Zix, like... Letting out Grand Baroji's Talia Malphite, obviously, because you're in vastly different landmarks there because Targon. But um, the thing you're gonna see that in the in in the games. Um, I think we never even drew like Safety Inspector, and when we did, the game was kind of already over. So mm. Safety Inspector is one thing, and then there are versions with Hibernating Rock Bear and the, uh, Hibernating Rock Bear with Rock Bear Shepherd, obviously, with this beautiful guy. Or pause or. <laughs> Uh, there are also now ones without the Rock Bear Shepherd. So there's a lot of li different iterations. Um, there is no real set list to this. You can run it in many different ways. This is the one we are trying today. Again, um, the Safety Inspector, I'm probably going to cut that out and then play another um, Talia Zix uh, video later with the next patch to see uh, which one actually fares better because, yeah, Safety Inspector just didn't make really the cut. But maybe maybe it's a little bit too slow for this, even though you have, like, many different ver uh, different decks running around. But, uh, yeah, at five mana, and when you have a bunch of aggro running around, it's a little bit of a problem, obviously. 
Uh, so yeah, that was the deck tech. Um, we are heading right into the games. We have some spicy ones, some meta ones, some non-meta ones. So yeah, so definitely some that that are that, that are gonna worth be worth watching, and that definitely showcase why I love uh, landmarks so much. So yeah, hope you enjoy the games, and I'll see you in the games. It's not loading up the entire shit here. We're playing the mirror. We're playing the feud. Okay, so let's see what's better. We have the safety inspector. We have dropped the bomb. It's actually pretty neat. Mm. I'm going to keep dropped the bomb. I'm going to toss safety inspector for now. <clears throat> oh, and I have the rock bear shepherd in this deck. Might have been an arrow. We're gonna see. Let's go Perseverium. Good shit. <laughs> the literal mirror. Alright then. <clears throat> Let's play him. Nobody's pulling your tail while I'm around. Let's see what you got. Did somebody say explosives? <clears throat> We're gonna have that. One for you and one for you. <laughs> four HP, so he's just way too big for a fucking Yordle. God damn. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna tick down the the, the guy here. Twice. Three, four, five, six, yeah. Okay. Or do we just blow up the bomb? I guess I can give you that. Sun's beneath me and, and wind's, wind's behind, behind me. me. <clears throat> I could literally play drop the bomb. I'm pretty sure he's not gonna block because pokey stick because drop the bomb. So yeah, blocking here would just end him. Okay. Friends do make chores easier. Oh, lovely. lovely. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, you're gonna get ended. Are you leveled? Nope. By far not. <clears throat> no. Nonsense. Really? Ancient hourglass? Well, if you do, actually, it's good, because I can just blow it up. Or that, okay. Still dies. One, two, go boom! Sure. That's a draw. Keep on draw. There we go, okay. That's a side for sore eyes. <clears throat> so I can use um Desert Naturalist and six next turn. Six almost. Barely. Barely. I don't really have anything to enable the explosive minefield with. Let's go. I just can't wait. Here, Here we, we go. go. Time to bust out some combustion. Boom. 
Ah. Alright. There it is. Um. Gonna catch the sky. Come and get it. Okay. Oh dear. So she is dead. Another day, another explosion. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right, uh, Ancient Hourglass is three mana, so we can't protect her. <clears throat> and then we're gonna take it down a bit. Well, bigger. Okay, so if he blows up Hexpose of Minefield next turn or any other landmark, he also has Ziggs leveled. <clears throat> mm, kind of needed right off the arcane there. But I can override um, on, him. So much to see. The levels? Yes. My journey won't end until I'm through weaving it. What happens if I blow up his minefield, though? I'll drag you out of there if I have to. Leave her alone, Kadira. Where there's mm, a boom. Yes! Ugh. Feels good. Feels good. How about... No. Cease. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I brought my own Violex. Nice. <laughs> Bad <Bat> star. <laughs> I see what you did there. Hello there, good sir. I'm gonna keep Perseverium. That's always good. Heroes, we hope to draw into them later. How many of these, um... Right after Arcane's do I have again? Two. Okay, yeah. Ooh! My boy! Going in strong here. With the beat drop. Okay, so it's, it's the sun disc. With. He's glad he drew into it. Tell your Chirima. <clears throat> Going a little bit crazy there, eh? Don't want to take damage Save the homestead I got the volume a bit here <clears throat> hmm, I could play Zix I, I think I'm just going to open for now Okay into Perseverium Let's have double explosive minefield um would really like to draw into Drop the bomb, nice. And this one is there definitely just to make sure that Ren Ren Reggaeton doesn't connect. And I can literally just play that into Zix, which is nice. Next turn I also get the proc from the Perseverium. There he is. What does that thing do? It explodes, of course. Go ahead, light the fuse. Boom. Um. Do I just play him or endless? I mean, I can play both. I can play both and also drop the bomb. I am wearing my goggles. See if he blocks. Okay, big mistake. Let's make sure he's below four mana. And then we just drop... Welcome okay, the then we just drop the bomb, basically. Um, let's play him. <clears throat> now 
Nice. Nice. Okay. Nice. That's it for reggaeton. See ya. See ya. Two out of four, four out of five. Okay, we're doing we're doing good. Gonna find a gift for an action, right, Arda? Hmm. Could play drop the bomb to just kill off Merciless. Um. Uh... But literally, Absolver also saves him. Or just play this. I don't want to have two out. Well, I can play another one, actually. <clears throat> That's not too bad, because also that uh, ticks down... Uh, yeah, the Rock Bear. Going a little bit too slow for my liking, though. <clears throat> so we're gonna level up uh, Zix with the next two landmarks. <clears throat> right here. Down. Mm. Let her rip. <clears throat> Friends do make chores easier. Oh, dude, the rock there, Shepard, though. The MVP. Fuck. And the surrender. I actually thought that he, for some reason, I don't know, I forgot that. He actually plays um, Reggaeton Nasus. For some reason, I thought. For some reason, I thought it's Reggaeton Azir. And I was wondering when the Azir was coming down. <laughs> Demacia, Shadow Isles, Kalista. Jace. Jace dies to everything, even a Poke Stick. Um, I'm gonna keep these two. Perseverium is always good. Drop the bomb, <laughs> kills Jace. <clears throat> uh, he Never does too. <laughs> literally, every, literally everything call, uh, calls. Yeah, calls and kills him. Sir Mexia. There's a Jace killer. Sure. Cease. Match. Our landmarks ready to go. Nothing. Four mana, nothing. Yeah, I was about to say. Thanks for the landmark. Taking it. Two more, I think, for Talia, yeah. <clears throat> Could be, yep. Yeah. Exactly that. If it's made of sand, I can write it. Don't attack. Good boy. Because you attack, you get pokey sticked. Watch me. Watch. That's it. Good enough. Good one. What a shame for you. Mm, one, two, three, four, five. So now I'm gonna play Invincible Chemist because we don't get the the landmark. This one levels. Yep, Talion. We just need to draw into her at this point. Uh, 
That's a problem. Shouldn't have done that. Should have seen that coming right off negation. Damn! I deserve that. Uh. Okay. Okay, we are gaming. Sorta. Let it rip! How much is he gonna go in? Four, three, Mr. Eight's five, I think. No, 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 no. Cease. Cease. We're not doing this shit all over again. Bigger. That's a hit. It's fourteen. Um, we're down to six with that. I think I'm doing that. You best believe. That's pretty good. Nice. Ha! I got an idea. <laughs> it kind of has to block. Mm -hmm. And if he blocks with Kalista as well, then. Right after the arcane can do the job. I can also get another rock hopper on the case. That's weird. I mean, yeah, it heals him. Sure. <clears throat> Can't I think I'm a little bit worried about this um, harrowing, but that's why I'm setting up more landmarks. Because we're looking at six damage if I also play Rock Hopper. Uh, six damage due to uh, Zix. Yep. Let's go. Would you look at, at this place. Mm, also, I can't find Talia, which kind of sucks. Nice, okay. Return to us. Out of my way. What prevents that prevents the most damage? Yes. We're holding on. Oh. Okay. My ha, little booms are just as good as big ones. Yeah, yeah, but the big ones are well bigger. Okay. I should have just passed. We won we we win this next turn actually. Oh, damn, son, really? We salvaged this somehow? Not really, right? Fuck. Ah, barely. Barely. Shit. Ah, feels bad, man. We would have had it there. Ah, too bad. But well done. Well done. 
again. Is it the same? It's the same. <laughs> okay. Hello there. Long time no see, friend. Let's see how we do this time. That's pretty good. Chemist on round one, rock hopper round two, or maybe preservarium. I've never tried this chemical before. Mm, he remembers. I can. Just a friendly race. So we know he has a tr atrocity, which usually isn't the case. But usually, usually isn't the case for the decklist that I have here. So no harrowing, maybe, but there. But instead of harrowing, he just has um atrocity. Pass of the Ages. Another one? Oh, would, would you, you look, look at, at this place? place? I don't know, would you? We are at three out of five. So we only need one more chemist and then Talia and then we have her level. In for two damage or more. Oh dear. Three, four, five. Six, five. Let's float the mana. We're going in way more aggressive than before. Good spit. Now where did I leave that beaker? That one, I let that go through. I don't mind that too much. <clears throat> so I can play uh, Talia now. And they're weaving it. You tell her. Her? Him. Them. Whatever. Good. Good, 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 good. So we can drag Kalista. He has actually mana for vengeance, though, but I don't think that... Yeah, this deck runs it. Exactly. Plus two. That doesn't save her, however. Good. If he has one mark of the Isles, that's plus two, plus two, yeah. But still would have died. <clears throat> we don't have enough blockers, however, which kind of sucks. I got like the th hmm. We don't have the best cards in hand. Is the problem? If he has Soul Cleave now, which thankfully. Well, he might still have it. That's the, that's the issue here. Then we are in a little bit of a problem problematic situation. I'm just gonna poke him a bit there. That's good. That sucks. Gotta see this new board. Little busy now, Sammy. Later. Ugh, this girl is heavy. It's a bit. Because literally these inventive chemists are not going to do anything. Oh, well, they can block. That's the thing. They 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 can and will block against the wraith caller. But that's about it. Or maybe against this. Oh yeah, I need some space. I think I'll be needing some space here. Oh, 
Let's get rid of this. In case he has soul cleave. So he can't duplicate this. Thought about like getting rid of one of the mist rays, but yeah, like the problem if he has soul cleave, then Wraith Caller is a little bit of a bigger issue. Not so much anymore. Like threading a needle. Wait. I can play that one more time. Sweet. I think I'm also going to swing with um, Naturalist. The Naturalist from the Desert. Yes. Maybe even... Maybe I should have just opened, like, full swinged. <clears throat> full swung? Something like that. I'm deadly afraid of vengeance. <laughs> okay. He might be dead. Right of the arcane onto the scrappy bomb. Next turn I also have right of the right of negation ready. I don't think there is anything. Okay. Double? Doesn't change too much. 5th going in for 15. He could have lethal here if he opens. He's going in for 12. A block with Rock Bear with Talia. Stand back. No, he should be good, I think. Good one. We redeemed ourselves. Spicy one, however, definitely. That guy is good. Mist Wraiths. Mist Wraiths. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let me see that. Nocturne. Adilawi, not Ionia. Okay, um... Like, draw, I like the rock bear, but I think for this we need more drastic measurements. Right of the Arcane... Well, right of the Arcane is gonna help us against the... Also, this is gonna help us against the Wraith Callers. So, uh, yeah, is it Kalista? It's all Kal Kalista, yeah. Okay, so it's two Kalista... Maybe two Kalista, two Nocturne or something. And then a one-off of um, Elise, I would assume. Nothing we can quite kill with uh, drop the bomb, which kind of sucks. But we have a blocker. An audio slave. Oh yeah, let me greet you real quick. There you go. 
Ah, yeah, okay, so it's Mono Shadow Isles as well. So there's no way for him to miss the Wraithcaller Allegiance. So it's no Frenzied Skitterer. What a shame. Okay, depending on what he plays, it's either going to be um, Endless or Drop the Bomb. That's going to be an Endless. Could have only attacked with uh, the Ephemeral one. That would have made blocking a little bit more awkward. So we're gonna go when I do the Eilie brothers. You dropped the bomb on me, baby. And you turn me on. Every soul trembles as it is woven. Did he generate this? That's weird. Get that out of my fucking face. <laughs> the fuck? Tangled. So it's not only Mist Wraiths? Does he also splash in some... No, he doesn't splash in Spoders because he doesn't, he doesn't have Skitterer in here. Well. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> How you like that? <clears throat> Sing me the, song of the, the Rock Dunes. Ooh. Spicy. <clears throat> rock Bear and the Vault. And the draw. Let's fucking go. My fucking god. <laughs> okay. The horizon cause. We can remove Kalista with um this beautiful thing, right of the arcane, onto one of the I was about to say rocks, onto one of the scrappy bombs. So that shit is gonna be gone. What else I got? That's a weird addition to the deck. That's all? Mark of the Arts could be a thing, but it also... She also loses her because she's get, she gets ephemeral. Hmm. I'm liking it. Only makes us stronger. Okay, you take one, you lose one. And that also levels up our good old friend Ziggo. Which I guess we're gonna be playing. <laughs> Given that we have two. Um. Yeah, Shepherd into Zix. Sounds good. Takes down the Rock Bear. Cease. <laughs> ah, I love it. I'm feeling great. That's overwrite her. 
I just can't wait. Here, Here we, we go. go. Time to bust, bust up some combustion. combustion. There's a GG coming in. We're gonna see about that. We're gonna full swing. Boom. Throw another rock. Vengeance could be a thing. We have the Absolver. To deal with any... Unnecessities. There's not even a word. Why not block with this? Weird. Well. Here we go. Boom. Nice. Yes! Oh, yeah! How much damage is it? Two to the Nexus? Okay. Um... Nope. Fresh offerings. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here, dude. The hell? And now we're blowing this up. And then we use Ride of the Arcane to blow this up, and then G fucking G. Cute. <clears throat> uh, and GG. Nice. That could, like, that's, um... Don't worry! I brought my own fireworks. That horror wing was scary. Not gonna lie, though. Pinky Lowey. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Not sure entirely what to expect, but I'm gonna keep everything except Zix. Um... Oh, that's why. Okay. Because it's a new week. Like, the list got updated, I see. Okay, let me see. I'll pass here. Uh, where is Eloi? There it is. Nothing, okay. Lowy. I own you. Sure thing. Lowy is four mana, so we're gonna draw, and then next turn we're gonna endless devout. Ooh. Good spit. Mono Ilawi. I guess it's similar to... TF Ilawi? Probably. So a lot of board spam, basically. I've got gravel cakes and slag fruit. Pride of Nazuma. So the is also something that we have to... That we have to consider here, as well as syncopation. All right then. Mmm. Mmm. The good stuff. So it's uh, endless now, and next turn, um, to make his turn a little bit weird. How about no? I like to keep him. Okay, change of plans. We're gonna play uh, Rock Hopper first. <clears throat> so he can play Ilawi right away. And then we also get the Grumpy. Uh, the Grumpy. Yeah, the, the Rock Bear. I can write it. And then play another one. Seems flare. The two six, so she could still block the 
Rock Bear. Good morning. How you like them grapes? So I gotta deal with it, and then I can blow it up even with a good old desert naturalist. Beautiful. Beautiful. Sure. For mana, so we actually can still play Ilawi. <clears throat> Let's see. Really? Well, thank you for that. Something tells me you're not really getting there. Something. If I have to. Leave her alone, Kadira. <laughs> and that's two. Dos. Dos. Dios mío. And. I know what. I'll drag you out of there if I have to. Ah, <laughs> uh, I was about to say I can also play. Um, actually, yeah, I can still play drop the bomb. If he plays something, now that is. And then just blow it up with Right of the Arcane. Maybe Right of the Arcane was better here? But I mean, I get two creatures out of that. I get the Devout and also the, ro the Rock Bear. So I, I think that was correct. <clears throat> Fishing. And the surrender. <laughs> Didn't get there, apparently. Give me my LP back. <laughs> 